We're going to do, for the most part, a stress team. I don't know if this is going to work. Screw it. Let's try it. What's the worst that happens? We lose all of our guys and start over? Thank you, Alaska, again for the best. mark me. Don't you point your stinky finger at me. What a stinky finger that was. Boo. Oh, he's got a ward. Uh, okay. Oh, he's, he's got two wards. Holy crap. This might not go good. Uh... Heal yours? Heal thyself? Ah, your frail bodies fail you. Oh my god. Yeah, the first guy's immune to any of that. Oh, I'm really glad that missed. That looked dangerous. Alright, uh... Removes all debuffs from the Dark Knight. Every hit against this is a critical. Now, let's take that off. We don't need to be crit like that. Really don't. I'm trying not to die, Mono Knight. I'm trying. He's buffing himself. HR buffing stuff over here. Can't get a little because he can't get enough. Diddly doot, diddly doot, diddly doot. Oi. All right, that guy's insane, which is nice. Uh, all enemies lose 12 vigor. The Dark Knight recovers. Mount no, we don't want that. Um. I have no way of killing that third guy. So I guess we'll do this. Redirected the stress attack to the guy who's immune to stress. Well, wow, that went really well for them. Hmm. These guys are all on fire already. I can't really do anything. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought that was gonna kill him. Brave are an excellent source of fresh corpses. Stress immune, you want that buff? That would be great. That would be. The knight can't be hit, um, Cyagen? Or Cyagen? The knight can't be crit? Why is that? Or is that just in general? Oh! Look at you! Thank you for teaching me that. That's awesome. Okay, so the Dark Knight can't be crit. So I don't have to worry about that. Gotcha. If you have if you have other tips like that, feel free to let me know. Um I don't know if I realize I never realized that. That makes him a pretty damn good tank, doesn't it? Oh my god, I didn't realize he had block because I didn't look. Don't mark him. Oh god, marking him is probably really bad. Oh, he tried to betray his friend and he missed. I have a feeling we're going to lose Saur in this battle. I don't know. That's just the general sense I get. That's the impression that I get. Stop. He's retreating. 
crimson hunger. Turns the target to a normal, to a random position, removes all buffs on the target. <laughs> no buffs. Okay. Okay, healed a little bit. In with the rest. Start doing some physical damage to this guy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Seven. Uh, so it's gonna kill the guy in the back. Oops, Sugar, I killed the guy in the back. To dust. <laughs> oh well. We don't get a vampire. The skeleton can't be buffed or debuffed. Look under the stars, under the life. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. The death of a blood phantasm restores 33 vigor to the allies. Okay. And then this one. Feature of the enemy to escape increases by 2% each turn until it reaches 10%. Okay. So this just makes them scared. I don't think this uh, character can do anything. Oh boy. Sar, hang in there. Hang in there, buddy. That armor absorb is no good on that attack, so I gotta stop doing that. It's funny how the Wraith is actually doing some nice work against this guy. It's immune. Banshee can't do anything against him. Just wait. I saw him chop. Left him with one health. Um, beautiful. Beautiful asks this or Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I agree with Marauder. Why not both? Um, they're they're both different. They're both. I think they're both uh, really really good games. Um, if you've never played either, that's a really tough call. Which one to go for first? Um, however, we're playing this one now. I like I like the fact that this one um, has a really cool system for when a monster uh dies when one of your minions dies you don't get them back right and uh since you're playing a necromancer who raises minions from the dead um they have this mechanic where you can find brains of different levels so right here we just looted this level six brain so if one of my minions dies and that was like a level six minion or a level seven minion i don't have to start a new one at level one again i can put a new brain in it and boom, that level one minion is already level six. So it's a really cool catch-up mechanic. Um, so I actually took a perk that allows me to collect more brains. And uh, so I can replenish my army pretty quickly. So that that that, that mechanic right there kind of helps ease the blow of the, the permadeath on your minions a little bit. Um, shoddy armor. All minions that are level five or lower gain 25%. Oh, th that reminds me. This is a one, uh, one. That reminds me, we have a, uh, an artifact equipped that is probably not doing much anymore because most of my, most of my folks are above level five. So this is not that useful anymore. Um, this armor is not super useful, but I don't have another it piece of armor. My undead features. We can put the ghostly blade in whenever an enemy dies due to a heart attack, a rat just gains 3% experience. So you can put that back in. Everything else, I think, is a consumable. One time use, one time use. Yeah. And this one will gain more experience points. You just... Azari just came in. My girlfriend just came in and, and tried to ninja sneak me a cookie. She's a keeper. 
All right. Um. The stealth failed, but the cookie remains. Uh, beautiful. Thanks for following. Let's see what's next on the map. We're getting close to the first boss, gang. All right, so an ancient tomb containing dormant minions awaiting their time. All right, we'll just take this, this group right over. We'll go la la la. We get one of these three. Um, I'm going to choose another bride. Level seven. Nice. And here we go. Boss fight. Boss fight time. Does anybody know off the top of your head? Can I use... I can use a stress build for this fight, right? Why would you need to ninja a cookie? Reasons. All right, these are all healed up. Sar needs to go heal. Sar almost died. I really thought Sar was going to die. Let's put Sparkwood. Sparkwood can go get healed. Okay. Who wants to gain experience? Let's put our brides in there. The brides are insane. I got a new bride, too. We'll put that one all the way over there for now. We're not using... These are the minions we're not really using right now. These three. Okay. Um, let's get prepared. We have no talent points. A kind gesture. Thank you so much, for somebody, for snagging something on the Humble Store. What'd you get? Let me know. Let me know. Wander is a cookie ninja. That just means he steals from you while you're baking them, though. That's the reverse ninja, yeah. Vinyar says, uh, you should be able to. You should be able to stress that last guy unless they change it for final release. Okay, that's 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 the uh, the danger, right? A little bit of a danger. That they might have changed something. But I think we're going to take our stress team. This team has done well. Daemon, Daemonius. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. There we go. Boss fight. Stress team. No golems. Go. Sarah Bat says, that was you buying this game on Humble using your link. You are amazing. Thank you so much for snagging a copy. I hope you enjoy it. Come back and let me know what you think of the game. Yeah. All right, the keys in his possession granted this man great purpose. For a bribe and a favor, he was willing to carry missives, arrange fights, and allow gangs of criminals to quietly murder their competition while they slept. He saw himself as a king, and the keys were his crown. As long as they were needed, he was needed. But the undead care not for the jingling metal, and for the man himself, they will have no need at all. He's basically the gatekeeper. I think that's even his name. All right, here we go. First boss of the first level. Keymaster, not the gatekeeper. He's the. I was. I was completely wrong. He's the keymaster. <laughs> okay, so feature. He doesn't escape. Okay, thirty-three percent chance to redirect any attacker debuff to the ally standing in front. All right. Sucks that this guy's going before. Or he's going first. Thraith gains 12 dread until the end of battle. Buff. Oh, he's gonna put him in the front? I didn't mean to put him in the front. I was dumb. I didn't mean that. I didn't totally didn't mean that. Whoopsie! Strength through pain. Okay. Um... Let's see, they might... Are they going to buff each other? Someone disappears at the end of the battle. I don't know. Is he going to buff all of his friends? It's possible. Let's try it. That wasn't a buff. 
Why is Stouffer going last? We're going to have to remedy that. There we go. Dealt a lot of stress damage. No, no, no. Good thing she blocked. All right. Terror wave. Scream at the minions. Stress them out. Bend them, break them, cause them to flee. Okay. Kick it through his armor, which is hilarious. They, these guys can't hurt. <laughs> these guys can't hurt Medicus up in the front there. A gift to the foes of Mordor. Anonymous just gifted a sub to Sarabat. Thank you so much, Anonymous. I appreciate that. That's your first uh, newer gifted sub of the day. If we get four more, we'll do a game ball giveaway. And let's say this. If I win this fight and beat the first level, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away a copy of Aratus. All right. So here we go. Um... I'm a little bit worried about Ape at Noise. Ape at Noise took a lot of damage. <laughs> Hopefully it's okay here. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Mix it up. All right. Just you and me. Of course, he can summon his enemies back again, his friends again. Hi, Boo. What's going on, Boo? Hey, Queasy. All right. Um, he summoned a fool. He summoned a fool. Directed it. He's insane. He did one damage. How dare you? All enemies lose 12 vigor. No, we don't want to do that. Let's do it direct. Direct screaming in the ear. Okay, he's got, he, he's in uh, range of a heart attack. Heart attack range. Come on now. No, we didn't lose anybody yet, but don't ask questions like that, Marauder. Jesus. Yes. Soon this world yes. will be. I was close. Oh yeah, we did have a death. We did have a death. We um I I I totally lied, lied to Azari. We haven't had an enemy kill anybody. I used an ability that blew up Sparkwood's bone golem in like the second fight. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> I did kill somebody. But I did it instead of the enemy. All right, so there we go. The boss is down. Uh, let's see what we get for it. 22 Digger Souls. We get another one of these leg cuffs, which I'm not so sure I love. Heart, bones. We got a 14 point stat blood. That means whatever minion we give that to, they get an additional 14 stat points. Wow. A kind gesture. Somebody snagged something from the Humble Store. Thanks, somebody. What'd you get? Thank you. Uh, Sarabat says, so Aratus have an equivalent to the stress mechanic? Yes, but it's in reverse. You deal it to the enemies rather than you getting it. So you're a bunch of undead. 
you don't care about stress anymore so you don't you don't have to worry about stress but you can have a a build the build that i just used to beat that boss was all people that deal stress damage not physical damage so you can deal physical and magical damage which will affect the enemy's health or you can deal stress damage will which will infect their sanity and if their sanity depletes to to nothing they have a chance of having a heart attack and dying so yeah so they flipped it this is great this blood 14 additional stat points and then we got a level seven brain all right we go to the next level of the dungeon too okay um i guess we have a chance to go here first let me just swap some things around obviously 8-bit noise has got to go rest um we've got our physical crew ready to go so let's put them back in put me in coach put me in Doop. Doop. all right we got that that group's good all level sevens and a level eight um Aratus has two points And deal 21 stress damage to the target. Spell power increases. Okay. So I can give ourselves another skill here. Deal stress damage to all enemies. Yeah, let, let's keep stacking up the stress abilities. My magic will shake the very foundations of this world. All right. Nothing I want to upgrade there. He's got a skill point. All right. The stance. When receiving damage, restore vigor to all. Okay, so this will give 11 to 12. This does a little bit more. I Fine. expect results. results. I know you do. I know you do. All right, who do we want to give this mega blood to? The blood will give us a lot of stats. Well, Sar's got this ultimate combo. Should we should we put all of our eggs in one basket? No. I would think that's bad. Let's give some to Jojo. We'll give Jojo the blood. Blood. Look at all these stat points. Attack. Um let's do some crit. Attack again. Perfect. Nice and clean. Flipsy, thanks for following. Appreciate that. Really, that was you with the Humble Store purchase? Thank you so much. You're amazing. Maybe you need some har armor if you're going to be taking hits? Um, uh, Probably. You're right. I don't have anything to upgrade you, really. Okay, we will look for ways to do that. All right, let's exit. Here we go. First level is complete. All right, the hunger for wealth had long since become the only virtue among the hardy dwarven folk. Gone are their ancient traditions along with the names of their ancestors for what was more powerful, logic or some dead dwarf rotting away into dust. Their ruthless scientists and alchemists knew the answer to that question, and the human kingdom was more than willing to facilitate their experiments. They have grown rich and feared, setting up their own enclave, and became the default overseers of the mines. All right, so here we go. Level two. Now, the dungeon looks different, right? It's got different assets. You're going to fight all different monsters in this. Like, for example, we're going to start off fighting dwarves on this level. And after we beat this entire, like, look how big this map is, right? After we get to the end, we're going to fight another boss, and then we go to the next exit, and then we'll go to level three. What they added today in the full release is two more levels that I've never even seen before. So nobody's seen these levels yet. This is just brand new today. I don't think we're going to get to them before the end of the stream, but just so you guys know, there's a lot of content in one of these runs. Four different difficulty levels. 
Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. Um, by the way, I said when we beat that boss, we're going to do a giveaway. So let's give away our second copy of Aratus mods. Uh, let's give everybody that's watching uh, 100 clams. So if we have any new folks, they can uh, enter this raffle with at least 100 clams. And we'll make it one clam to enter at max of 500. Get ready to enter that raffle, gang. Yes. Hold on one second. Hey, Obo. All right, good luck, everybody. Uh, Cooney, thanks for following as well. You do need to be following in order to win any raffles, but that's all that's required is a follow. Everybody else can uh, can join. And I just want to mention one more time, uh, thanks so much to Daedalic Entertainment for sponsoring today's stream. Uh, we're being mirrored over to the Steam page right now, so we're live over on the Steam store page. If it's if you're watching this and it's April 23rd, then we're live. You can come over to twitch.tv slash bogotter, say hello, interact with us, ask questions, enter giveaways, all that kind of stuff. And if you're watching over on Despite Steam... Despite my millennia of imprisonment, I am a rather impatient necromancer. Hold on. Uh, if you're watching and it's not April 23rd, then this is a rebroadcast on Steam. But you're still welcome to come over to twitch.tv slash or hit that follow button. We play a lot of fun games on the stream. Tomorrow we're going to be live with more Daedalic Entertainment streams. We're going to be playing Cryofall and Witchet, right? You're going to play Witchet with us? I am. Azari's going to join us for some Witchet. Why are you closing that? No, no, no. I need that. Why? Turn on the AC. Huh? Because that's that's the cause of. No, no, please, please. I need the. I need that. Both of our neighbors are cutting their lawn. Yeah, you think it's a lawn thing? I don't know. It makes the air fresh. We'll see. No. I'm having a little allergy issue today, which is weird because I I've been haven't had an allergy attack since like I don't know last summer. Um, so here we go. The dwarves. Can we jump right into fighting them? I think so. Oh, they healed. Interesting. So just going to the next dungeon thing, they healed. Oh, I didn't have anybody in here because I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. Let's put these guys in level eight and level nine. Um, there we go. Dwarves. Dwarves, they're fantastic. Yeah, you're right. I haven't been getting my shots. That's right. This whole quarantine COVID thing. I used to take weekly shots for my allergies and I haven't gone in like, I don't know, six weeks now. Six weeks it's been, so... Hey, look, an allergy attack. All right, new enemies, Berserkers and Dwarven Warriors. Okay. Sasha, both. I think they're both amazing games. It'd be hard for me to choose, yeah. If you have like specific questions about differences between them or a specific question about like um, Aratus, which we're playing today, please let me know if that helps. Aratus is on sale on uh, Humble right now. If you type exclamation point Humble, you can get a link to support the stream and it's on sale over there. Or you can go to the Daedalic Entertainment Publisher Sale, which has a whole bunch of Daedalic games on sale if you type hashtag game. Yeah. It's on sale on Steam too, is it? I thought when I checked earlier it wasn't. But anyway, ch click the link Dragon Tears just put in there. That's the that's the link for uh, Daedalic Entertainment sale. 
and uh, they are sponsoring today's stream so please support them and there are many titles over there that are on sale right now all right we're gonna use the blood phantasm let's just start doing some damage <laughs> Uh, sounds. I'm gonna take the effect volume down a little bit, and let's pick the music go up. Effect volume. There we go. Let's try that. See if that's a better mix. All right, Brylar, congratulations! You won the copy of Aratus. Marauder will be whispering you your code. Congrats, Rylar. Just say something in chat. Claim your prize. All right. Sparkwood is... Target gains two block until the battle ends. Golem loses 25 vigor. Interesting. Let's see if we can buff... Let's buff Sar so he takes less damage and then... They'll still get put on fire when they attack him. Terror will overflow. Nice. Missing and blocking. Shouldn't have done that. Fifty-two. To the bean. Oh. Oh. There you go, Sparkwood. You killed him until he died from it. Ah. Oh, nice. 54. 54 damage. Oh. Oh. Nice. We made short work of those dwarves. Get it? Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Get it? Short work? Dwarves? <laughs> Sorry. Um, what did we get? Power Fist unlocks a secret destruction spell. Does anybody know how this works? Um, it's... Does, do I get that forever? Oh, a level 10 brain? Are you serious? Are you for Rizzies? Are you for realsies? Did we just unlock that spell? All right, so this, okay. So as long as I'm wearing this, I get access to chain lightning, right? Now Ooh. I will make mortals tremble. But if I use this me, one. Well, even more than previously. If I use this one, it's just a one-time use of that spell. I think so. Yeah. Sparkwood says, you're buying a bunch of their games, so now I'm winning? Oh my gosh, Sparkwood. Thank you so much for supporting Daedalic. Thank you very much. If anybody buys anything from the Daedalic sale and wants to let me know, um, just type it in the chat. We'll celebrate it. Celebrate our sponsor. Keep Let's, let's, let's keep them happy so they'll sponsor us again. And uh, if somebody does put something in chat that they've snagged today from uh, Daedalic Entertainment... If our mod team, if somebody on our mod team can put it on Discord for me, that'd be awesome. That way we can give a little unofficial tally. That would be great. All right, let's, um, by the way, I, I saw the face palms for my, uh, for my bad joke. I feed on face palms, so thank you. I live off of face palms. All right, let's go back to our stress team for the next fight. In fact, actually, I should check to see what's going on first. Um, left or right? Two battles and cultists. This allows me to sacrifice. No. Let's go left. <clears throat> We're going to go left. But yeah, we can put our stress team back in. Stress team, you're up. Stress team, woo. -woo. Okay, 
Okay, those two are gonna chill in there. It's fine. Actually, one of them's, no, they're both level eight, so let's put that one in. Beautiful. Okay. 